Tonight, a look at the plane crash that left one person dead in Brentwood. Sky 5 flew above the scene just in the last hour. We were able to see a clearer picture of how that plane landed, including what appears to be the tail and part of the wing of the plane in a tree. Now investigators are trying to get to the bottom of what happened. Well, new air traffic control audio obtained by News Channel 5 shed some light on that question. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb Listen to it. He's live in Brentwood tonight. And Jason, there's one particularly heartbreaking exchange between the pilot and air traffic. What was that? Well, that's right. In the radio traffic between the pilot of the small plane and air traffic control, the pilot says, quote, tell my family I love them. Here's how air traffic control responded. Sir, you're going to be just fine. You just fly that airplane all the way down and you'll be fine. Zero Julia Golf, you just keep flying that airplane all the way through. You'll be just fine. Of course, that plane later crashed here in Brentwood. From the air traffic control audio, we learned the pilot reported a rough running engine. We're told the pilot later reported to air traffic control the engine had quit. Also from that audio, we learned at first the pilot tried to land at John C. Toon, but then tried to reroute to Nashville International when he was told it was closer. The FAA says the pilot was flying a single engine Piper PA-32 with only the pilot on board. Flight records show the plane took off from the Springfield Robertson County Airport this morning and spent 24 minutes in the air before crashing around 730. No agency has confirmed the name of the person who died. Brentwood police say Old Smyrna Road will be closed between Jones Parkway and Edmondson Pike as the investigation continues. Several neighbors heard the crash, which knocked out power in an area for hours in a very densely populated neighborhood. I actually thought about that and I just texted my daughter and said it could have landed on my house. So, it, you know, honestly, I mean, I'm very sorry for the person who died in the crash, but it could have been a lot worse. I believe it didn't land on anything other than some trees. From up there looking down, it was really like the only empty spot, you know? I mean, even they're building new construction back there even. We're told the FAA is still on scene here investigating tonight, and the National Transportation Safety Board will be here tomorrow. Live in Brentwood, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.